Welcome again. Today we are going to install a new component of uh, the wonderful FreeTag server. This will impress all your friends and especially your girlfriend. If you have a problem with your wife, install the web map. That is what we are going to install today and your problem will be solved forever. That is a warranty and you will get your money back if you don't. So what is the web map? The web map uh, display information coming from uh, different devices directly in your administrative interface. And to install it, we are going to look at uh, the wonderful documentation that is going to be also linked in the description. And keep in mind that if you want to install the web map and uh, make sense of it, you need to have installed FreeTag Server. So the installation of Redux server is in the video above. Now, what we're going to do is we're going fast to get the last release of the web map that is located under GitHub Redux server, Redux app release and download. So we go here in a new browser window. And we can see that we have different releases. We are going to use this one. And the next thing that we want to do is to copy the release path so that we can download it. So if you go under assets, for example, if we want to use this one, we will need to copy this. And if we want to use this version, we will copy this one. So as soon as you have copied, uh, you need to log in into your server. And to do that, we will switch to WinSCP. And that is our server. And in the server, you need to navigate under opt. Opt is the Linux. Uh, or in general, Unix location, which you want to install additional ser uh, services and software and make sense that you have um, all packages that are not installed uh, under um, a dedicated location uh, and they are available for multiple users under ops. Now, certain people believe that it's better to install under user but that has certain uh, disadvantages. So under ops, what we are going to do with uh, uh, this is we want to create a new directory and we call it webmap. And if you're not connected, it's not going to work. So let's do it again. Web map. Here we go. Now we navigate inside the web map and then we open a console here in Putty. And then we can now, uh, inside the console, start to execute uh, our uh, command. So the first thing that you want to do here is to uh, vget the um, information. So you have already copied the uh, information and we need here to navigate under opt. Slash web map. So, and we do a ls to check out that it's empty. And now what we do is we want to get the version of the uh, map that we need. So that is downloading the web map zip. Now to unzip a file under Windows, you will need to uh, install uh, the unzip functionality. So you will need sudo apt install unzip. In certain systems, it's already installed. 
So then you see that is already to the newest version, so we don't need that. And the next uh, operation is to unzip our file. And now if we do ls, we're going to see that we have two files here, the webmap config JSON and the executable. But uh, to be sure that it's executable, we are going to run it. We take key mode and then we'll do ls again. And now that is a executable green. And so we are ready to go. So the next thing that we need to do is to edit in uh, um, the webmap config JSON. So to do that, we go back to our WinSCP and we will refresh and we'll see that we have here two files. So the JSON file and our executable file. And we have a sort of zip file. We don't need the zip, so I will delete it. Now, in uh, to edit the JSON uh, in a WinSCP, you can simply double click it. And we will go to Notepad. And you see this URL here is not the right URL. So what you want is the URL of your server. So where is that you are going to get the URL of your server? So if you go to Win uh, SCP, hopefully you know that you are connected to a certain IP. And that is the IP that you want to use. So in our case, there's this IP here. So that is the IP where the web map is located and can be the same IP where also FTS is located or can be located in a completely different uh, node and that depends on your performance and what uh, how many users you have. So we can now save this file. And go back to WinSCP. And to be double sure that we have saved the file, we can reopen it and check that the IP has been uh, really Notice, so you see that we have the file that is the file that is on the server, so we are good. So now we have configured the um, JSON, and we are assuming that your um, your web map is running on the standard port that is 8087. So that is a exception to uh, the components of uh, the so-called FreeTag app that are additional component of FreeTag server. Normally, what we use is the REST API that has uh, this port here, but the web map is really using this one. So that is a standard port for TCP. So if you have not changed your uh, default, you should be fine. So let's go back to our console and see what is that we have to do here. So we have now created the executable. We have uh, added the JSON, and we have also deleted the zip file. So what next? So we want to, we want to start the, the system and to do that, uh, that is something that uh, has been not uh, done properly by many users. We need to start the executable, that is the FTH web map a Linux and then the version, but then give a parameter the JSON file with the full path. So the command we want to use is this one. So dot slash the name of the executable, so the package, and then the full path of our um, JSON, 
including the fact that we have placed it in a folder called webmap. So it's a slash opt slash webmap slash webmap config underscore config dot JSON. So we started. And you see here we have some information. Uh, it looks like the payload has been uh, gotten correctly. So that is our payload in which we have the configuration. So the next step is to test if this thing is working for us or not. So let's go to our browser and check this out. So in the browser, what you want to do is to navigate to your IP with uh, 8000. And depending what is your IP, that is only an example. Please don't use it. And then slash tag map. So here we go. I am navigating to my IP and the port is 8000 and slash dot map will give me the fact that the top dot map is a web map is up and running. Now, what we want to do is to see that within the UI. If you remember in the previous video, if you don't remember, go and watch the full installation of FreeTag Server and the UI. In the UI, we have configured this location so that the server uh, is informed how to open that within the UI. So we go here and that is, you know, our server that is running on port 5000. So we go to the web map and we see if we can open it. And indeed it's opening. Now, the last thing we want to do is to be uh, sure that this is also displaying something. So I'm now connecting my client. So I have a client running attack. And as you can see, as soon as I connect, the web map is displaying. So as you can see, it's not difficult. If you follow all the different steps, uh, you can be assured that your web map will be up and running in a couple of minutes. And if you don't, don't remember, don't forget to uh, subscribe, not only to this channel, but join us on Discord. And on Reddit, we have a um, lot of users there and a wonderful community that will answer all your questions or maybe not. It depends how nice you are. So see you next time, guys, and thank you so much.